You're right. One of the things that uh, has been affected is a lot of companies, if not most companies, have put the brakes on all their marketing, all of their efforts to get out and get their business going. Uh, while branding is great, branding is probably not the strongest thing that uh, needs to be right. done right now, but it, uh, you know, Bloomberg, Forbes, they both come out with studies already. They're saying that the, the companies that have already started back in the marketing trend, started selling their products, started selling their company on uh, what they do, what they do best, even people like ourselves that we're talking about what we do and we do best. If you don't market, you're going to have whatever has happened to you continue for much longer than if you do. So don't be cutting your marketing budgets, just rifle shoot them down to the things that you actually see immediate returns on and get back into the marketing place itself. What can you do that nobody else can do? Well, you know, again, it's, it's, it's that initial fit, it's that initial review of what's going on. I mean, we think we are efficient, we are nimble, we are quick. Um, <clears throat> You know, sometimes almost to a fault, because I've done it so much, I'll walk into a company and go, boom, here's your problem. Um, I try and hold that back now. Um, <clears throat> we did that for a while, but uh, we hold that back now and just try and, and be a little bit more measured. But, you know, I, 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 can't, I, I can't enforce it enough. In distress turnarounds, time is everything. I've seen companies that file bankruptcy and go, well, I've got a 90-day um, you know, stay here and I've got a, you know, I, my, I, nobody can file a plan before I can for the next 90 days. Let's just kind of sit back and, and, and let's, let's things kind of mobilize here and, and, and stabilize and then go into it. And that's the exact wrong thing to do is in a turnaround situation, time is expensive, time is precious. So our ability to come in and quickly diagnose quickly fit in with leadership of our clients and work with them to enact a, a turnaround situation is critical. One of the things that I also think makes us different is, is coming up through the ranks of controller and CFO and being that hands-on person. We are not the consultant that comes in and say, what about this and what about that? And, you know, get back to me as, as we're working you know, rolling up our sleeves and working with the CEO and the rest of the C-suite to, uh, to not only diagnose, but implement a solution to the plan. You know, your, your comment earlier about, you know, you were describing servant leadership, and that's exactly what we do, is, is we get in and we work with the existing staff. We bring the expertise that the client doesn't have, so we don't have to build them for the things that they do. And you know, on occasion, we'll work ourselves out of an engagement, which yes, we do. Which is which is not unheard of in the turnaround business because you know when you turn around and, and you and you exit a bankruptcy, I'm probably Absolutely. not the guy you want to keep on to continue to, not to grow your company. So so we're we're used to that in terms of if we do our job right, we'll work our way out of an engagement. But it also happens on the CFO side. I had a had, again a company in Toronto. Uh, software developer, they were, you know, they wanted to make that leap into the enterprise sales market. They wanted to grow their business for four x in two years, which was all doable based upon the products they had. And so, you know, again, back to a, this wasn't C-suite, but we brought in a whole fractional CMO, CEO, CFO, and really positioned the company for hyper growth. The uh, two owners of the company went to Costa Rica for a holiday and came back and said, we don't want to do the hyper growth thing anymore. And so I said, that's fine, but if you're going to grow three or four percent a year, that, that really isn't my deal. There, there are much more, and, and we have them at C-Suite support that can, that can be that guy that helps guide them through you know, a mature, profitable business, making them better. Um, you know we like to work at a little bit faster pace than that. So I worked out a deal with them that I brought in a controller. I trained that person up to take my job. And uh, ultimately the controller took over the bank, the lending relationships and the financial reporting to the banks. And there wasn't really any capital raise because we weren't growing. So, um, you know, I considered that a success. Sure. Um, it's fun. That I'm just, I, that actually that controller is working now at my, my, uh, 
food client in Toronto, so I, I, I get to joke. You're pilfered. That, well, yeah, yes, yeah. Um, but I also uh, I also get to joke with her that you know she's going to work me out of a job there as well if I'm not careful. But but again, I mean servant leadership, training people up, getting you know getting involved in the details. You know, as they say, getting your hands dirty. That's you know we do that. We're not the ivory tower consulting firm that points out the problem and then says come back Walk to you when, when you when you've implemented the plan to fix this.